Today I'm actually fishing Dirty Reservoir down in Somerset and it's a big old expanse of water, approximately 70 acres in size and it's very typical to most reservoirs found in the UK. At one end you have a dam which is where you'll typically find the deeper water and then at the far end it shallows off and that's where the shallow water is, really comes alive during those summer months. And because it is a big expanse of water it is very open which means that most of the fish are caught at long range. So today I'm going to be giving you my tips at fishing at distance and tip number one is braided shock leaders. Now when you're fishing at range you're most likely going to be using a heavier lead say a four or five ounce lead and if you wanted to use a monofilament all the way through you're probably looking at a very high diameter monofilament. Now the problem with that is that when you're casting that's going to cause a lot more resistance going through the air due to it being extremely thicker than what you would probably normally be using. So the way to get around that is to use four or five rod lengths as a, as a shock leader of braid, sort of somewhere around the 50 pound mark, which is what I'm using today. And then that will allow you to use a main line of somewhere around 0.26, which is perfect for longer range fishing. And that's not gonna cause as much resistance as going through the air. And if the fishery that you're actually fishing bans the use of braided shock leaders, then that's where your tapered main lines come in. And that gives you a thicker diameter monofilament for the first three to four rod lengths. And then it goes down to a lower diameter, meaning that it's gonna still cause less resistance on the cast, allowing you to hit those longer distances. And my tip number two is to use the right equipment for the job. For example, today, if I was to turn up with 10 foot rods, I'd be extremely undergunned for the type of venue and I'd be very unlikely to catch. The fish I have seen have been out towards the middle of the lake and there's also been a strong crosswind coming across the lake at times as well, making casting extremely difficult. Today, I'm using the brand new 12 foot Infinity X45 rods in a three and three quarter pound model. There is a 13 foot option available as well if you prefer the 13 foot and they are perfect for casting at your longer distances. They've got a really strong backbone to really give it some extra sort of welly on the cast and also a really lovely play in action for playing those fish back to the bank. So that would be my second tip. My tip number three is to make sure you can bait up effectively over the top of your fishing spots. Now you see it all too often on these long range venues where people cast out their fishing rods as far as they can, but then they can't repeat that with their spod rod. One of the best things you can do is to make sure that you're fishing over bait, especially on waters like this where there's a big stock of carp and you want to try and create that big hit of fish. You want those fish to be visiting that spot and have even have the chance of two to three takes. And the only way you're going to really do that is to make sure that you've got bait in the area of your fishing rods. So like I said, we've got a crosswind going across today. So what I've actually done is I've brought the rods in a few, two to three wraps, sort of shorter than what I would actually normally be fishing if there wasn't any wind going across the lake. And that just allows me to make sure that my spawn rod is actually hitting that same distance in that same spot. Now it also helps that I'm using a spod rod that's actually in the Infinity X45 range. It's the same blank, which means it's a very similar feel and a very similar pickup to the actual fishing rods. And I know it's got the power and the backbone to get that spawn out there to a similar distance to what I'm fishing at. And that is absolutely vital to make sure you've got the best chance of catching a fish and making a hit of fish is to be able to fish over the top of bait. Now I hope these tips have been helpful and hopefully they'll put a few more fish on the bank for you when you're doing some long range fishing.